Hello, Multiverse, and welcome to the Magic Library. I am Aliquis the Archivist, and we are back with some Arena gameplay video. Um, as you can see, I have actually uh, done a little of this myself, not recording. Um, it was a bit of grinding, but I figured I'd not watch, make you all watch all of that. <laughs> but um, I wanted to see if we can get maybe these last three wins in to get our gorgeous Vivian here. And I figured we'd try a different deck. I would mentioned um, in the first video that I wasn't sure if you could switch decks or not. You can if you were unaware of it. You just have to click on your actual deck and build a new one. I already built one here. I figured I really enjoyed the amass mechanic in the mono red deck. So I figured I'd try and do more of, of a amass geared, maybe a little bit of proliferate with spell gorger. Um, so it's very similar, just, uh, is it? Because, you know, you gotta love the is it. Oh, we didn't. Let's see. Okay, let's see if we can get these last couple wins in. Um, so far, this has been um, a lot easier <laughs> to uh, finish the event than um, the Momir one was. That Those games just, uh, god, they lasted forever. Um, this is uh, pretty decent. I got a one drop, a two drop, and uh, something to pitch extra land to. Honor the God Pharaoh has been really, really quite a bit better than I expected. I, mean, I usually am quite stingy with my cards and don't like discarding unless I've got some kind of synergy that wants me to discard. But, um, not bad. Yeah, he's not gonna block. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll anticipate the end of their turn. Yeah. Ooh, all the ramp in the world they that's gonna be interesting to see what kind of monsters they drop here in a little bit Let's see what we can get here oh wow lots of land um okay well at least that gets well you would think that would get most of it out of the way um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and Honor here and pitch a land. Okay, that's better. Um, no attacks. I'd love to get into some kind of counter magic because uh, they're about to start playing monsters that I am not going to have answers for unless I'm bouncing stuff, which I still haven't drawn into any of that. Wow, still ramping. Yep, that's that's a four six. Um Well, I mean it's four damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump that. It's not like I actually lose out, so See if we can get this going. Now, do I shock one of the land of war to stop ramp? I mean, we've got six mana. Five is not going to hurt him any worse, but of course, he's not going to want to use it for that. Um, now, nah, screw it. Let's go. Yeah, I'll get in there. I don't see him blocking this land of war, unfortunately. That'd be nice. Oh, yeah, see? Quenches and all that nice counter magic I've got would, be, would have been really, really nice. Now, I might be able to draw into... 
one of my battle spells. So I think we're gonna try for that. Okay, there's one of them. Do I bounce that and attack him for seven damage? Or do I try and save it and get the cow get rid of that? Literally removes a threat. That just is a band-aid. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this now. It slows them down. It makes them use Feet of the Cow again unless they draw land. Well, there's the land. Never mind. <laughs> Those two... Drop the big guy in and swing with the druid. Ow. Now, if I can keep playing stuff, my spell gorger can match up to this, so that's a thing. Hmm. Trample doesn't do me any good, so. I've got to get this up to the same size, if not bigger. Maybe deter them from swinging in. I'd love to start getting this going as well, though. Okay, what is it? That's 10 damage. I can chump one of them. Yeah, okay. We're, we're going to go ahead and get that one going as well. I'll, I'll hold up the shock. Who knows? It might be might be relevant. And uh, yeah, we're just going to pass the turn. But, I mean, worst case scenario, he attacks in, we shock the Dread Maw, block with the weird. Yeah, we lose the weird, but we've got this one still. Oh, God, another one. Okay. Um... Okay, we can't afford to lose the weird, so... We'll chump with the initiate on Druid. Yeah. Chump that. We just take six. I think we do. We double block, get rid of it. And then we've got this one to build up, but now we really. No, we just take the six. I think I'm going to shock. Hold up the shock to do the extra damage on one of them. <clears throat> Maybe, because that's pretty much all the mana we've got, though. No, we use the shock now. Dang, I really don't know. No, we use it as combat trick. They got a lot. Um, yeah, where was that a couple turns ago? That would have been nice. Um, okay. We could God Pharaoh dumping this sustainable stroke. I don't know if he's got something big to play this turn. That would be a huge hit. We would count toward it. And then we can shock, make him big enough to kill one. We essentially trade out, but that does not seem good. Okay. You know what? Let's just see. Let's roll the dice. What happens? No attacks. Here we go. 
Come on, play a big threat. You know you want to. That's not a big threat. Does not help me. That's not either. Okay. Well, that was a bad plan of attack for me. <laughs> well. Yep. Here comes the fun. Interesting. Just one. Shock it, block with this, it kills it. If we don't, we're pretty. God, I don't want to lose it to the heart fire, though. It's a decent threat, just gone. You know, screw it. We gotta get rid of it. Um, target it. Sacrifice that guy. shock it for the extra two. Hmm. Don't want to get burnt on another big threat like that, but it did no good last time. We gotta get this above that, so here goes. Not bad, actually not terrible. Because that affects them all. That's pretty good, actually. Okay. Um, that's what I believe you call stabilizing. Let's see what he's got in hand. Now. Oh, God, come on. Well, Spell Gorger is still pretty good. Oof. That's nice. Um, well, I need some hard draw, though. That's no longer an issue. We can block with this. And that could be blocked with that. So we could. So the cowl, getting rid of the open form, pretty much eliminating the 4-6 threat here, which is good. And the 9-9 nine nine will just block with that, so I think that's our play. <laughs> Why didn't you target one of my big guys? Okay, and then we'll just uh, hold back the mountain to try and pitch to the honor. And uh, yeah, I don't believe we attack yet. Let's see what he's got. That's a big guy. He just wants big threats. The problem is he has more big threats than we do. Ours are bigger, but he's got more. So, yeah, I don't see him attacking in. Love to see another honor. Ah, not a land. That's not what we don't. Don't want the land. Um, still no attacks. Of course, that's where he starts to Well, we really need some card draw. <laughs> well, it's card draw, and that makes everything big, so we'll take it. God, I 
people with love. I should look at something that gives us flying, because that's absurd. Trample, we don't have flying. Some kind of evasion. Even that thing that. What's that? Galvanic punch or something like that? That would be huge. Well. Next turn, I'd say he could. Yep, well, okay, maybe this turn. <laughs> I was going to say next turn he could start attacking. Okay. Here we go. Um, yep, that blocks the big guy. That blocks the other big guy. And... Are we just dead? Blocks one of those guys, and then that's 10 points of damage, and we don't have enough removal. Crap. Yep, that's nine points of damage. Five. Nice. Dang. See? That's frustrating. They're huge, and they should be able to do something besides step there and look pretty. Well, see, now that's the first games we're used to on this channel. Um, interesting. And I wonder... What do we have? Yeah, that's... That's pretty good. Or if drop a couple strokes, go that, so we can still pitch it to honor the God Fair and jumpstart it later, which sounds pretty good. Five down is nice, but so far that hasn't been too big of an issue. Not a whole lot of removal. Go down another initiate. we actually see it. Yeah, that looks good. Let's try that. Yeah, that would have been game winning if we had one of those last game, but we'll see. It also would have been fine if we'd had any of our counter magic early on. <laughs> okay, well, no counter magic. But we do have a nice that and a little bit of removal, so we'll keep. We don't like the mulligan. Oh, of course. Um, yeah, we'll pitch land. Very land heavy opening hand. We are playing 23 lands, so. Grass. Oh, man. Um, dismissal. Um, I'll keep uh, contingency plan. That's really good with spellboard. Ah, the mass. Great, great two drop in the format. But if they get if token gets too big, we can always blink it. Okay, well. Let's go ahead and go for the weird, and hope they don't kill it. Because if they don't, it can uh, pretty much run away with the game. Um, interesting. We... I'm not going to block. I don't know. We might have that, though. Is it vapors that 
fixed everything. Well, we didn't have the land. That was an interesting play. It's okay. Give us a card draw. It's got huge. Of course, draw land. We'll hold back Use it as a blocker for right now. Well, ah, well, we're going to start hitting them. My chump. Chump, no chumps. Let's see what he's got. I would uh, really like an honor. Okay, that's fine. It's flying, but not the end of the world. We'll uh, take the four. I, I prefer to kick the blink if we can. Um, let's go with the card draw. Dismiss pull. Do. Bounce and swing in because surely they'll jump block that. That's big. So, yeah. You get another ETB trigger on it though, but it costs them pretty much their whole turn to do it. And it's just one life. Yeah. And I can start liberating it as well. Yeah, Spellgorge or Weird can just get out of control in Popper. It pretty much demands removal. I like the on theme. We got black. Might throw in a little bit of blue to be nice to have a Tezzeret, but uh, he's definitely one evil SOB, so. Ha, huh, no creatures for you, Tezzy. Yes, you, you don't get to pick anything. It says creature. There we go. And you use your mana for that. So do you have a two drop? You may not. That would be great. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, jump blocker back. Interesting. No blocks. Now, what I draw, I could have lethal. No, of course, a land. Of course. No, we're not going to have lethal. We don't do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to bounce it. Yeah, it makes the mass token bigger on the replay. But we could uh, potentially draw into something. And this gets through for quite a bit now. Come on. Well, it's at least a spell to play. It keeps us one off of lethal. Then we can water. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, we got this. All in. Sh any shock, any um, any burn at all will do the trick. <laughs> A little bigger there, that's fine. What else we got? Of course, land, 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 land. Love all the land. Back this way. Hoping to draw into any kind of burn. Here we go, Heartfire will do the trick. Really good card. Okay. 
I hate to do the early good games in case they have something. I mean, I don't know what they could have, but they might have something. Sometimes people can get a little uh, heavy-handed with the, with the GGs just because they think things are going their way. And it can be a little obnoxious, but at the same time, it is fairly satisfying when they do it a little too early, then you can come around and show them how very wrong they were. Granted, it doesn't happen often for me, but it is nice when it does happen. Yeah, I guess uh, we'll play an island since we have all blue cards. Okay, I would love to get something with the mass or the um, spell gorger out. Let's see what we can hit with anticipate. Nice. I thought about running that, but it's only two mana. It's really, really good. So let's see how it does against us, and that'll <laughs> help make my decision later. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, don't have the mana for this, so we'll go with the dismissal. Start the amassing. Yeah, that'll be good. <clears throat> hmm. I'd love to hold a quench, though. Well, it's probably just going to replay that. We should be able to hold a quench on the back burn. Yeah, we'll do that. I tempo him out a little bit. Let's see if he plays. Okay, that's what I figured. And then whatever he does next turn, I will. Hmm. Dog Order is a hoss. Yep. Screw it. Sky Magic is great, but it's not great when you want to play stuff at sorcery speed, too. In all fairness, Quench should probably be used early on and then the threat should be dropped, but getting Spell Gorger weird. Go, no, no, don't look at it. Leave it. Ah, uh, of course, Luminous Bond. Well, we can always let it build up and then bounce the bonds out of nowhere. Just kind of surprise them with that. That always sounds pretty good. And I still don't have another island, huh? I'd love to be able to hold up Quench, but I need to start doing some stuff. So we'll let it Not the land I wanted, but I guess I'll take it. Shock does deal with Strix. Yeah, I might just uh, let that build up and then surprise them by bouncing it and uh, using the altitude to get in for lethal. That, that would be pretty sweet. Let's see if we can get that going. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty sure if my opponent pulled something like that on me, I... Yeah, I'd be upset that I lost, obviously, but it would be good enough that I would be like, yeah, okay, kudos to you. Any counter magic? Maybe? Oh, dive downs. Wondered if we'd see those. Well, that is a substantial threat now. Ouch. I really need the blink for that. So that might be an issue. Although the surprise altitude, oh, it's a sorcery crap. No, there's no surprise there then. Um, Let's go with another card draw. Hopefully we can hit another island.
the island. Now we can hold up Quench, which probably won't do us any good now, but it's at least there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and hit him for three. Probably going to dive down. Hold up one blue. Give him a chance to respond. So yeah, chances are he's got another dive down in hand, which is fine. Dive down just just target creature. That shouldn't affect us much. Now uh, let's see. An honor would be good. A little bit of card drawing. We could pitch one of these, although that kind of ruins the element of surprise. Oh, good lord. Well, kind of puts them all in on this one Strix, though. Not great, but take it. Ooh, that's good. Um, God, I'd love to hit a surprise lethal. That'd be great. Eleven. That's 13. Blanket. No, that won't do it. Put it in 14 points of damage. Goes nowhere. And then we can get a heart fire for the win. I mean, he probably doesn't have counter up now with just one blue. Considering we'll probably be dead next turn to that, though, so I probably need to hold up Blink to try and stave off Lethal. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. This is what we'll do. We'll swing for it. Love another bounce spell. Come on, I got a lot of them in here. Tension feet. No. What is it? One with the wind. Which one's this? Hello. Let's use card. Oh yeah, that's lethal. So Oh, and his he's got a dive now. I'm almost certain he's going to dive down. So... We're going to have to bounce one of the enchantments. When they dive downs anyways. Yeah, he's got the dive down. When he dive downs anyways... Puts it up to nine, gets rid of one of the permanents. I'm saying the same as lethal regardless. So we'll go for the We'll go for the dream. Do you have it? Yes, you do. Yep. Good game. Man. Oh. That would have been so much fun. Okay, yeah, no. We're doing this. <laughs> That's gonna get flying and kill someone. One of these games. Still more, two more. Um, we may not do the whole thing. We might try just for the one more win. Oh, I mean, I'm trying not to upload 
ungodly long videos. Okay. Oh, not horrible. Really would love to have something early on. Not do anything until turn three and then doing something that doesn't impact the board very well until later on isn't great. Ah, I like that. I like land and pass from the opponent. Of course, we're going to have to deal with probably more luminous bonds. Let's see. Well, nothing at instant speed. What do we have? Okay. Oros aggro, it looks like. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go another weird. And keep well. If we have to, we can always pitch that. Yeah, that could really hose our opponent, but he might be a little more low to the, the ground. Interesting. Apparently he thinks that two weirds on the board are game over, which may very well be if he's mana screwed. Yeah, I bet he is. He's... That's, that's pretty good. Now he's probably playing a lot of the uh, three mana. All your stuff gets plus two plus zero. Oh. Yeah, he was almost certainly playing that. Which, if he is, that's fifteen points of damage. So I kind of have to block. I'll block him. Yeah, why not? I don't want both the Gordons to die if he does have that. Yep. Ouch. But yeah, I would have lost both Gordons on that one. Okay. Bounce one. Amass. And then plan. Or we could even... Bounty one just seems, but yeah, the the amass token is nice. And then he's gonna start blocking really. Can we have three now? Oh, yes. Okay, that's not anywhere near as bad. Do we plan or dog her or hold up for quench? That could be big. Might hold up for the quench. We'll do that. Now it's one of those weird feelings. I think Quench might actually do some work this turn. You never can tell with those types of counter spells. Yeah, Quench was big. Awesome. I know it's never fun for the opponent when, you know, counter goes off, but God, it feels good when counter spells that require them to pay extra mana actually work. Okay. 
Um, we're going to hold up this one as well. Is that greedy? Probably. Now, let's play the land. Plan, and then hold up. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Because that can get stupid. Yeah, we'll hold up counter magic on that. And yeah, I'm going to smack him in the face with one. He does. Jump block. Oh. oh, he wants to get that. Uh... If he plays a land and has another Burn Bright, then counter doesn't do anything and he's not quite lethal. So that's good at least. Act of Treason. Oh, that is painful. That hurts. So we have to chump block. So there's no point in doing this. He'll pay the two. It'll get bigger. We'll have to chump block our own thing. Nope. You can have it. Kill my mass token. That sucks. Okay, there you go. I was like, why isn't he attacking with the one ones? Well, that sucked, but oh well. That's life, right? Um, hmm. Yeah, we're at the part where that's probably not going to do any good right now. Because he has another one. This is tricky. I want to hold that up in case he's got something crazy again, but he's just another blocker. Let's see. What's he do here? Jump blocks, which means he's not considering killing on the. He cracks that. So. Yeah. We'll leave up the counter. Maybe. Maybe. I think we were a little too lucky with the quench. I don't think Crush Descent is going to do anything right now for us. Nope, that hurts. Now we can still counter it and get the tokens. And it uses up the rest of his mana for the turn. And he can't attack in because we've got... Well, he can't, he's going to lose one. Okay, that's not bad. Do we do here? Okay, we're gonna honor. Pitch the land. Maybe we'll draw a bounce. Okay, there's a bounce. plan. I am pronouncing it wrong and that's fantastic. Wow, I've been uh, pronouncing that wrong this whole time. That's a block that 
absolutely nothing on board to be able to recast it, but that'll be fine. At that point, he has to block both. Because anything with haste, I am utterly screwed. But I don't have to be a big boy to do four damage with haste. Heart fire, he needs to cast creature and sack it, but he's got the mana and the cards in hand to do so. So that ah, nice. Okay. Weirds are coming in. Doing work. Haven't got to give it flying yet after all that. One more win. Okay. Come on, we can do it. One more win. I know the video's getting a little long, but come on, we all want to see me get Vivian, right? Who knows? Okay. Um, we'll see. A little land heavy, but... Okay, that's good. No duress or divest off the top, so that's always nice to see. Oh, colony, huh? Interesting. Yeah. Get out of there. We can bounce the next one, get us a token. At least we're doing stuff. Now, do we want to do that, or do we want a God Pharaoh? I'll play two next turn anyway, so I will swing for five. Okay, we'll do this. Just a token regardless. Okay, cool. And then next turn I'll hold up Crest Descent. Because uh, he'll play out as many rat colonies as he can, which means we'll hit one of them. He'll play two right now. Swing for four. Oh, no, no. Interesting. Hopefully, he doesn't have a land, because then that'll be a waste. Yeah, we'll just hold up. Okay. Colony. Yep. And then the second one. Yeah, there we go. Yep, he'll swing in. Yeah, block one. Ouch. Down to four. Um. <clears throat> okay, we can weird and dismissal on the same turn. So we got a little blocker. Chump one of the colonies, we'll take four, take five apparently. Okay, I've got to get rid of one of them. Okay, so we're going to heart fire. Stem the bleeding with Talus Dismissal. Otherwise, they're doing a good amount of damage next turn. 
No, we got him. Just land. Still. Oh. Love for that to have been a mountain. He'll swing with those three. But I've got to block with the weird, which sucks. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, wait. Um... God, I need the card draw, though. He draws another one. He's swinging for eight. I'll hold up the shock. Oh, that, this could be bad. Okay, not horrible. Quench is going to do us zero good, though. So we'll hold up anticipation. Be a land, be a land. Not a land, of course not a land. Clinch does no good. So we'll hold back on the clinch. Yep, that's what I thought. Kill one of them. Starting to try and rebuild. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Yeah, we have to get rid of this now. Dear God. Lands for days. Quench does zero good here. <laughs> That's what I get for hitting such a good quench last time. And that's probably game. No. We're gonna pitch quench because quench doesn't do us any good right here. Well, it's least stems the bleeding. Now it's just all on top decking. Good. Good, good, good. He swings, both his things die, but both of my things die. So my top deck should be better than his top decks. That was a good top deck for us. Okay. Pretty good one. Not great. But I'll take it. Another honor would be awesome. Oh, good to land. That's nice. We could attack with I'm not gonna block. I don't think so. We still have interesting. I need to Play it unless it was a land and he's just trying to be tricky. 
which is probably the case. I don't think they're running anything besides rats in the swamps. Okay, this is that's a pretty good back-to-back -back draw. Slight game, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty nice. Swing with two next turn, which is two blockers. That was pretty ballsy on their part. Okay, got two more rat colonies and two seed. Can always double block the weirds. That leaves him really open, though. He would have to double block each of them to kill it. Oh, damn. Why did I not double block? And. Even if he sings a block. Yeah. Okay. So he's got to block something. Two blockers and it didn't. Yeah, okay, this should be game. Woohoo! There we go. The mass is pretty fun when there's not all the crazy things going on in arena and standard right now. A mass can be pretty good in with just the commons only setting and popper. I like it. Apparently, mass just needed to really find its its niche place and popper seems to be it it's doing really really well i actually had a pretty good win ratio with that um so that's awesome and she's just gorgeous look at that okay we finished it out We'll go ahead and open the packs. I know everyone likes seeing packs get opened. Oh, love the wild cards. I mean, I'm trying on this channel to build some different decks to be able to play. I mean, it's very convenient that they're giving me these events every week to give me something to focus on as far as decks goes, because I don't have all the, all the gems and gold in the world. Obviously, like, next to none. <laughs> I mean, I haven't spent any... Pretty much any money at all on the um, on arena yet. I, mean, I did the uh, the five dollar one time buy in thing, and then I think when arena when um, War of the Spark came out, I was like, I want to start doing this YouTube thing. So I spent I could I think twenty dollars on gems to do um, sealed drafts, not sealed drafts, sealed um, events. I figured I actually could get more cards for my gems if I actually won a little bit, which worked, but. I like the beacon. That could be fun to play with. I mean, the fact that it's an instant, I want to mess around with that, and there's so many good Planeswalkers in this. It'd be nice to do a fun uh, Sarkon deck with that. Anyways, that's our video for the day. I think that's probably all I'll do on this event. Um, Popper's fun. Popper's always fun. I like any format that like narrows your card pool that you're able to use. It just brings a lot of diversity to the game. Um, big commander fan also. I mean, obviously it doesn't narrow things out a little bit, but it just makes for a completely different game style. But anyways, that's not the point. Um, thank you again for watching. Um, I am Aliquis the Archivist, and this is the Magic Library. Please like and subscribe. It really, really helps a lot. I had no idea how much. I was always horrible when it came to um, YouTube. I never liked anything. I never didn't really subscribe to a whole lot until I really started, honestly, you know, watching magic videos on here and other YouTubers and I realized how much it really does benefit the YouTuber trying to bring content to us, the viewers. And now that I'm on the other side of things, yeah, it's, it's a big deal and I really, really appreciate it. But thank you to everyone who has so far. It's been really nice. Um, 
I don't know what the next video will be. I might do just an actual normal deck. I think that'll be fun. Probably Storm. Probably Blue Red Storm because, God, it's fun. And you don't see it at all right now. It's just not the best, but, God, it's fun when it goes off. But anyways, um, until next time.